and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to connect your Clapier apps with Google Sheets or Google Drive. Let's take an example of an app to see how it works. Here I have created an app earlier for incident report. It captures the incident details at a site location. First, I will go to the design app, where over here you can create or edit your app. After creating your app, you can go to step 2 for configuration. Then click on Google Sheets or Drive. By enabling this option, all the submissions made to this app will get synced in real time to your Google Sheets. And if you have any images, videos or files or maybe PDFs that you have configured, they will be synced to your Google Drive. So any previous submissions already available or new submissions made, any edits or bulk uploaded data will be sent to the Google Sheet. First, I will show you my submissions tab to see if I have any existing submission. Here I click on submissions. And you can see I already have an existing submission. Once I connect this app to Google Sheet, this data will be synced over there. So let's see how that works. I will now enable this option and then click on connect with Google Drive. In case you get a blocked pop-up message like this, click on allow to continue to connect to Google Sheet. You will then get a sign in prompt, then select your Google account. Click on Allow as this will enable Clapier to write data into the Google Drive. If you have configured your print settings, you can enable this option. To know how to configure print settings, you can check out our other video on dynamic printing. Now I'll click on Show Google Sheets and you can see my existing submission over here under the relevant headers. Now let me make a submission in the app to show you how the data gets synced in real time. So I'll go to App Home. And I will make a submission really quickly right now. Now I'll click on Submit and I'll click on the Submissions tab. You can see the latest submission over here. Now let's see if this data has been synced to the Google Sheet. And here you can see the latest submission. You can also make edits to your submission in the app and it will automatically get updated over here. For example, on the new incident, nothing has been captured. So if I were to make changes in the app, it should get reflected over here. So let's check that. I will click on the latest submission. And on the right hand panel that has captured all the details, I will be able to make changes. Unless you have configured it to be that you cannot make any changes. So under new incident, I will select no and then save this. Now I'll check the Google Sheet. You can see the submission has been edited over here. I can also bulk upload data into my app and it will all get reflected over here. So let's see that as well. To bulk upload data, I can click on the option over here and then click on download this blank spreadsheet link. I will open up the blank spreadsheet. You can see all the relevant headers and you can input your data under them. So let me go ahead and do that really quickly. I have filled in all the data over here. Now I will bulk upload this to the app. I'll click on upload and you can see all the data has been successfully uploaded. I just need to refresh this submissions page. So I'll click on the button over here and you can see all the submissions. Now I will check Google Sheets to see if it has been updated. And you can see it has. Now if you disconnect from Google Sheets and you make a submission, then it will not be reflected over here. So I'll go back to design app and I will disable this option. Now I'll go ahead and make a submission. I'll click on app home and fill in the details of this app really quickly. Now I'll submit this and check the submissions tab. You can see my latest submission over here. Now let's see if this is synced to the Google Sheet. As you can see, that submission is not synced over here. But if I were to reconnect to Google Sheet, then it'll automatically get updated. So I'll go back to the app, go to design app, and I will enable this option. Again, you will have to connect with Google Drive here. The sign in prompt will appear again and you will have to select your Google account. Click on allow. Again, if you'd like, you can enable sync print templates. Now I'll check Google Sheets. You can see the latest submission has been updated. In case your app captures any images, videos or files, or maybe you have configured PDFs, you can view them all in your Google Drive. So over here, I'll click on show Google Drive folder. So this is my Google Drive and it shows the PDFs for all the submissions. You can also see the signature captured over here. So if you want to view any PDFs, you can simply open it like so. This is what was configured in the app. You will also be able to make submissions in the mobile app as well and it will get reflected in the Google Sheet or Drive. So let's see how that works. 
You can see the mobile screen with the Clapier app downloaded on it. You can download the Clapier app via Play Store or App Store and the moment you create your app, it will be live and ready to use over here. So from my list of apps, I will go ahead and search for Incident Report app. You can see the app is live and ready to use. So I'll go ahead and fill in the details in this app really quickly. Now I click on submit. Now that the submission has been done in the mobile app, let's check Google Sheets. You can see the submission made from the mobile app has been synced over here. Now based on these submissions in the Google Sheet, you can perform some analysis or create some charts based on it. But it is always advisable to create a new sheet to work on. That is because data will keep getting updated over here. So it is always best to keep this sheet untouched. You can copy the same data into your new sheet by clicking on this plus symbol here. And in the first cell, you can type in the import range function. Once I click on the import range function, you can see the first input needs to be the spreadsheet URL. For that, I will go back to the previous sheet and then copy the URL. So over here in quotes, I will paste the URL. Comma. Now I input the range string. So I'll go back to the original sheet and select the entire range of data. So that will be from A to R. Over here in the formula, I will put this inside quotes and I will remove the cell values and just keep it from A is to R. Click on enter. It will take some time to load. You can see all the data has now been copied over here. So anytime a submission is made to the app, in the original sheet, it will get updated or it will get synced and in the new sheet, it will be imported. So now you can go ahead and do your analysis. For example, if I want to insert a chart, I can do that as well. As you can see, I have now configured a chart over here based on my submissions. So anytime a new submission has been made or any edits have been made, the analysis will be changed accordingly. In this way, you can connect your Clapia apps to be integrated into Google Sheets or Google Drive. In case you have any queries regarding the integration, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you.